Hello and greetings to all my brothers and sisters in King Yeshua HaMashiach. I hope everyone had a glorious day and our blessed King and our blessed Savior and our blessed Redeemer who is pure love. Let us praise our wonderful God Jehovah Elohim, our Holy Father Yahweh, your beautiful Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, the one who leads me by his light who lights my path and is a lamp unto my feet. Thank you, beautiful Holy Spirit, for convicting me when I sin. I love you so much. Thank you for leading me into your truths as I read your perfect word. Thank you, Father, for your perfect Son, your Son who you sent down to earth to willingly, He willingly, He willingly died for my wretched sins and for the world's wretched sins. And before he saved me, I was wicked. For the heart is wicked. Without your precious son being in it, who cleanses it and purifies it, puts it through the fire, refines it, who cleans away all our stains, washes us white as snow in his perfect blood, who presses our wrinkles out, and who has made our dresses, our wedding garments, perfect, for he is perfect, he is mighty, he is faithful, and he is true, and he is my way, my truth, and my life, he is my light of my life, he is a day star arising in my heart, the Rose of Sharon, the Lily of the Valley, who gives me peace. Oh, such peace. Thank you, my King, for giving me such peace in you. Such joy. Such happiness, contentment. You are health and nourishment to my bones. Your blood is health and nourishment to my bones. Your word is health and nourishment to my bones. Thank you for your broken body on the cross, for suffering for my sins. Ye who knew no sin took upon the world's sins and you died for me while I was yet ungodly, unholy and wicked. And thank you for saving me from the very depths of hell, which God created for the devil and his angels. And I know that hell is real 
and I know that if no one accepts you, King Yeshua HaMashiach, on this side of earth, or if they take that dreaded, horrible mark of the beast, they are dead to you, and they will burn in the lake of fire eternally, saith your word. I pray that not many people will be left behind. I pray that not many people will take that horrible mark of the beast. And I pray against every plan that the enemy has. I pray against it in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. For yours is the mightiest name of all. There is no name above your name. And you have crushed Satan's head under your perfect feet. Hallelujah. You are the mighty lion of the tribe of Judah. And you are coming back roaring. And you will set up your beautiful, amazing, wonderful millennial kingdom. And your throne will be in Jerusalem, your Garden of Eden. And your living waters will flow out from your throne. Oh wow, I can't wait to see you, can't wait to meet you, I can't wait to see your splendor and your glory, and to bow down, prostrate in front of you, at your beautiful, beautiful feet. There's no feet more beautiful than yours, my King. There's no one more beautiful than you are. I love you so much. I praise you. I fear you. I completely adore you. I trust in you with every cell within me. And oh, how I love you. How I love you. How I love you. My wonderful King, who loved me from the foundations of the world, who formed me in my mother's womb, who knew exactly who I was before you created anything. You knew every step of my life. You knew my falls, and you know my falls that I'm going to do. For I am faulty. I am full of errors. And as a sacrifice to God, please keep me broken in spirit and broken and contrite in heart. O oh God, thou wilt not despise. Please let me decrease so you can increase King Yeshua HaMashiach in me. Please enlarge my heart, Father, so I may have more of my God within me. Please let there be less of me and more, more, more of you. I love you so much. You are my world. You are my life. You are my hiding place. And thank you for letting me dwell in the secret place of the Most High. I love you so much. 
and King Yeshua is holy and perfect, mighty and conquering name. Amen and amen. Okay. I want to remind everyone to go to Ephesians chapter 6 verses 10 through 18. And if you do not know the armor of God, there was a video that I did on March 12th explaining it and how to apply it. But it is very important to put the armor of God on every day and to lift that shield up when you need to shield yourself from the fiery darts of the wicked. And go to Second Corinthians chapter 10 verses 4 and 5 that tell you that God I'm trying to remember how the verse goes I know the rest but I don't know this part particularly anyway God throws down strongholds I'm paraphrasing God is the mightiest and to capture all of your thoughts and bring them to the obedience of King Yeshua and to cast down every imagination that exalts itself against the knowledge of God in the mighty name of King Yeshua HaMashiach and to feed on God's Word That's so very important. Feed on God's Word. His Word is nourishment for us. His Word can save the engrafted soul. I think I'm saying that wrong. I'll get back with you on that verse. Um, but there's something that his word, his word says that his word saves the soul. His engrafted word saves the soul. I believe that's it. I'm still paraphrasing probably. But his word is, is him. His word is King Yeshua. God in the flesh. His word is flawless and inerrant. His word we can live by faithfully. For the just shall live by faith. And without faith you cannot please God. Cover yourself liberally in King Yeshua's mighty blood. Cover your family members. Cover your animals. Cover everything that you own and touch in the mighty blood of King Yeshua. And if you do not know our precious Savior, He has His arms open to whosoever will come to Him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And please go to Romans chapter 10, verses 9 to 10. And God Himself, God Almighty, Jehovah, tells you how to become saved by his son you must confess King Yeshua Lord Jesus Christ by your mouth and you must believe in thine heart that God raised him from the dead and thou shalt be saved come to King Yeshua in complete repentance in a state of complete repentance because his word says, if you confess your sins, he is faithful and just to forgive you your sins. He was faithful and just to forgive me my sins. Because I was a wicked, wicked person before I got saved. For his word says, the, the heart is wicked. But he does such a 
transformation. He gives you a new man. He discards the old man and gives you a new man. Amen. And he loves you. He loves you and he waits for you. He wants you to invite him into his heart and become born again. Invite you into him into your heart and become born again. You can read about becoming born again in John chapter 3. Jesus tells Nicodemus that he must be born again or he cannot see the kingdom of God. So, hallelujah to our mighty Lamb, the mighty Lamb of God. Okay. King Yeshua has asked that someone um, do the transcript for the second word, for Father's second word, and if someone will find the scriptures for it. Um, that will be great. Thank you very much in advance for all of your help and all of his faithful, all of his bride. We are sticking together. We are lifting each other up in prayer, giving each other encouragement so we can all stay on King Yeshua's narrow and glorious path. And let us love one another. Let us love thy neighbor as thyself. Let us love our enemies and let us bless them and have no alt and no unforgiveness in our hearts towards anybody, towards anybody. For if we cannot forgive, then the Father will not forgive us. That's in his word. Okay, so here is Father's first word. Oops, sorry about that. Oh, wait a minute. Let me get to the first word. There it is. Okay, I received this word from Father God Yahweh at 512 p.m. on 2 April. 16. Um, please take this word into prayer. Actually, I'm going to pull up the word document for Father's first word because I actually have that. Okay. Jeremiah 17 5. Thus saith the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man and maketh flesh his arm and whose heart departeth from the Lord. I received this word from Father God Yahweh at 5.12 p.m. on 2 April 2016. I know I just repeated myself. Daughter who has Papa's heart and who has my son's heart, write my increasing desirous words for all to hear. Write my child. It is time. Do not think, my saints. Thinking is not relevant to doing my will. Only do what my word says and stand upon your solid rock. When you are not sure of something, seek my face. Seek me diligently through my precious son. Saints, I am your number one weapon. God Jehovah Elohim. I am your sure thing. I am the one you can depend on. I am the one you can trust your heart and your soul to. Trust in me. My holy word is infallible, inerrant, flawless. You cannot trust man, my saints. I am telling you this. Look straight at my son and do not let your eyes wander. You will hear my voice telling you which direction I want you to go in. Rely on me and my son. We will never leave you. We will never deceive you. We will never desert you and leave you stranded. 
I have not brought my son's bride this far to their finish line to abandon you. God Jehovah guides you with mine eye. It will be in your best interest to shut your ears and eyes to man's opinions and doctrines. Do not listen to the views of man. If you waver now before my events begin to occur, how do you think you will stand up against the fallen angels? You must have the faith to stand. Stand, my faithful saints. Those of you who do not feel you are grounded in my word, read, read, read through my Holy Spirit. Read the example that my son set for all. There is not much more time remaining, my beautiful saints. Father God Yahweh, Elohim Eternal, stand upon my holy son, my saints, has spoken. Okay, and here's Father's second word. Please take this word into prayer. I received this word from Father God Yahweh at 10.04 p.m. to April 16. Daughter of mine own heart and of my son Yeshua's heart, write my holy and eternal words for my saints to hear that ye received directly from my throne room. Write my blessed daughter. My blessed and holy saints of mine, Father will disclose more of his mystery to you. It is very obvious that I am has been extremely secretive concerning my end time plans. Father is perfect in every way and you must trust in me with all of your heart. I will be going into my courts of righteous judgment. My feet have almost been placed on my courtyard that I have specifically for the judgment on this land. All nations, none will be spared. My righteous saints, Father knows in what areas you are. You are in all nations and my eye stays upon you. Blessed are you who are being persecuted for your unshakable faith in my son Yeshua. Your time here on this earth is almost over. Let Father do a recap for you. My holy remnant is going to be lit with my holy and consuming fire, with great power and authority in my son, released from my heavenly throne room. My son's bride is about to see such destruction that has never been witnessed before and never will again. Father has told you that before the shaking begins that Obama will divide my holy land, causing me to throw mighty fireballs and thunderbolts and great and terrible judgments and also that I will give a large sign and wonder for all of the world to see and to be awestruck and to fear me the great I am the bride is going to be sent out in pairs to spread my son's good news and to do miracle after miracle through my son's might and his victory over all of the enemy. The Antichrist will have revealed himself and will come after my righteous saints. And before my son's bride will know it, they will be leaving in my son Yeshua's rescue. You can see how short a time that you now have. I will tell you that there is much between these lines, much that you won't know. But on that glorious day for my son and his bride, there will be such a great celebration in my heavenlies. Father has said much now. 
Father God Yahweh, Elohim Eternal, I am wrapping up things here on my earth has spoken. Okay, that's Father's words. And now I'll give you the ironic blessing. This is Numbers chapter 6, verses 22 to 27. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron and unto his sons, saying, On this wise ye shall bless the children of Israel, saying unto them, The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel and I will bless them. All right. In the holy, mighty, and perfect name. And I want to say thank you to everyone who's been praying for Coco because he just drank water and you heard what little bit of coughing he did. It wasn't that much. So amen and praise God. He's working on Coco. Hallelujah to our wonderful God. Baruch Hashem Adonai. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen and Shalom.